Hello my friends, this is Angela. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome to the ones who continue following me. Thank you for all your support, all your nice comments. And um, today I'm here because I have a designer. I'm part of the design team for a store in Etsy called a Special Touch. Um, the owner name is Debbie. Um, she has uh, a lot of things. Uh, she has uh, a scrapbook survive from hard fell creation and authentic hunky dory and more. It is called Debbie Special Touch at Etsy Shop. The link is in my description box. All you have to do is link there and you will see uh, get to the store. Also, if you use the code that I put in there that it says 50 percent off all in capital you're going to get an extra 15 percent of the total of your purchase she is um she brings she has one of the newest collections from hartford creations and in the cheapest prices that i've seen so if you want something you have to go because it goes fast um I'm going to do this tutorial. It's going to be an Easter theme because I have to do a swap and I haven't done mine. And it's something that I learned in that YouTube group that I belong to, um, which I will try to link before. Uh, and I have to, uh, my partner, Beth, um, send me a wonderful and beautiful thing. Um, I'm just going to send you, I took what is it consists. It's going to be envelopes. You decide the size or how big do you want it. You can make it the sizes or envelope. Or, or if you don't want to make the envelopes, you can just do whatever else you like. And if you look over here, um, you know, um, you put goodies inside. So the, com the concept of the flip book, of the flip, it's not a flip book, the flip envelope is similar to uh, a flip book where you change, send goodies like an ATC where you put the goodies behind. Now they have other ways, the loaded envelope, but this is a more um, kind of like a different way and it's very fun too. So I'm going to walk you through the one that I'm making. I am going to put this um, I don't know, maybe uh, in a place here so you can see the, the store. I'm going to have to hold it there and put it underneath here so you can see the name of the store. I'm going to put it under here so you can see it there. Okay, so there is is a special touch okay i'm working on a glass surface because i always like to work in a glass surface now you can work in any kind of surface that you like um i know that there is a new tim holtz i'm a tim holtz addict i have everything from tim holtz but um not everything but i'm not gonna spend on the new um thing because i have this glass that is from ek success and i it's been with me for over 10 years and it do it serves the same purpose it's just that the other one is a little bigger but i'm not going to get into that i'm going to show you the things that i am going to use uh and what you're going to need i am going to use the collection out and take that is the latest collection that they got out for the holiday of Easter called Jubilee. It's a very vintagey collection. You can see the colors and everything there. And I am um, gonna pick, we decide to make six um, envelopes and we decide to make them um, using a six by six paper. So also when you do these envelopes, um, you, you you make tags, and the tags are going to be the fillers. I choose um, this three plain tags that I have here. So you're going to need tags. You're going to need paper, and I'm going to use this collection. You are going to need 
your um, envelope punch board. If you don't have one, there's videos where uh, you can do it yourself without having this. Some people have the three in one. I had this from the beginning when it came out. You're going to need a ruler. Um, you're going to need um, uh, let's see. You're going to need ribbons, um, embellishments, I have all kinds of stickers and embellishments. These are not from the store, but um, you can use from your stash. Um, I'm gonna use um, my hot glue for some things, and if not, I'm gonna use a different glue. Uh, I will let you know, I will use mounting tape. I am gonna use um, some sequins and buttons, and this is from 28 Lilac Lane. It's from my stash. And um, I'm going to use flowers from different flowers from uh, flowers. Um, some are from orchid um, flowers, other ones. Um, I'm going to use Distress Ink. I'm going to use the Distress Oxide. Um, I'm going to use a distresser and I'm going to use this and um, some other stuff that it will I will be showing as we go. Okay, so let's just get started and I'm going to get started with first of all with my um, oh my god, sorry. This was a little avalanche in there. I'm going to start with um, my tags. So let's put this over here. Okay. I already choose um, what I was going to, uh, some of the papers, and I pre cut them because I don't want this to be too long. However, um, I picked the three tags in three different uh, This one is going to go in the beginning of the book. This one are going to go in the middle of the book. And this one we're going to go in the end of the book. You can use this has a glossy accent. I'm going to use this um, cover the glossy part because that way I can add any message on the back of the book. Okay. So first of all, I want to start with, um, I think this piece of paper is perfect for this one. So I don't want to waste any paper. I'm going to move these tags. And um, you're going to need some adhesive. I used, I'm going to use my um, tape, um, my tape glider that is from Scotch. Um, and I am just going to, I love this, um, but you can use score tape if you feel more. Be careful when you're gluing. You can use wet glue if you prefer wet glue. I think this is strong enough for me to do that. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to put a little bit here in the corners, but you don't want to put any in the where the little hole is because you need to make that hole later and if you have any of that area cover then it's going to be a little difficult for you to um i want this part to be so i'm going to try to put this as close as possible to the edge And I am going to use my gun folder to kind of burnish that tape so it glues well. Then I am going to take my scissors. And these are the Tim Holtz scissors that I love. They cut basically everything and never get dull. I think the new ones that are coming out are 
not bred anymore. The new ones, her new his new collections, they are in brown. And like I say, go and check the link on Debbie's store, and don't forget to use my code. Um, you can make your own tags also. You don't have to use pre-made tag, but I'm a little lazy, and I want to do this quicker. Um, so I am going to use, and I'm just going to embellish this tag. So here is my first tag. So let me just get rid of this little tiny papers, put it on my bag, and put everything as it goes. So here I'm going to use uh, this punch um, to make, um, let me see. Mm -hmm. um, where did I put that? I know I had one. It, it might be in here, but I can't see it. Um, I, I want to remove this. I need something pointy to remove. Oh, it fell off. Okay, so what you're going to do is just you're going to put this where the hole is. And you're going to just make a hole and there is your tag. I like um, to distress my, my tags a little bit. And for that, I am going to use this is a Prima um, distressor. It has these surfaces. And it has this one. I have the temple one, but it's too small for my hands. And sometimes it gives me a little bit of cramp. Uh, and um, due to my arthritis, so I rather use this. I like to give always a little bit of distress so you can tell where the paper ends and where it begins. If you want to leave it the way you want and you don't like this dressing, that's perfectly fine. It's um, all at your own discretion. Okay, so I'm going to clean my area and I will put my thing back where it goes. So here I have my tag. Just going to make sure it doesn't have. We're going to use some distress ink and one of my favorite colors is picked raspberry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint, I'm going to use a finger dabber that I have for it. And I am going to just dab in here and I will cover my ink and I am going to just distress. And I'm going to use the pinks and the blues. Those are the colors that I picked to use inks wise. So I have um, where I'm going to do this. So now I want to, since this is going to be the first tag that she's going to have, I want to do something pretty on it. Um, I am, I haven't used in a long, long, long time um, any um, any brads it's not brad oh my god well you know this little things um so i already have a hole in here so i am gonna use um my big bite if you don't have an eyelet, this is an eyelet, I remember. And I have this big, you can tell how old it is. This was one of the first ones that came out because um, you can tell that the, the color that it, that it has, has colors. Um, so I am going to put the legs on it so it give me a little bit of more stability so I just gonna put it on put the legs on because I don't want it um, I should have done this prior okay and we on in here so my Big bite will work. 
the big bite is kind of heavy it's for 12 by 12 paper it is a little bit lumpy it doesn't want to stand like it's supposed to i don't know why but it's a little but that's okay so i want to put this uh uh it says you kid look at your kid your kid look and it's kind of on a bluish color and i think it will give them a very pretty thing this has the multi-purpose that you can make the holes and you can also use it for the brat for the um i forgot the name again and what you do is you try to get it in the hole. And I hope this hole is not too big for it. So I am going to hold this like this. And you hear the click. And there it is. I have a tab. So I'm going to move this to the side because I don't need it right now. Okay, so I put that in there so the ring, the ring will go in there. Okay, now I'm going to decorate this. And I, one, what I want to do is put probably some uh, nice, a nice doily. I'm going to try to use this green one. I'm going to put this nice doily in there and I am going to try to use some flowers and some ribbons to make a, like a little cluster of flowers. Um, let's see what we have here. Um, there's a little banner and I have a beautiful friend name that we swapped. Mili de Vera gave me these, and I've been hoarding them because they're so beautiful packed that I don't want them. To, I don't want it. To, I don't want it to even use them. So I um because it has a topper, but I am gonna use. Let's see. She has the blue. I'm going to use the pink because it's very light. So I'm going to use this pink one. It's a little, since it has a little banner in the corner, I'm going to add a little banner in the corner. I'm going to use, um, um, so thank you, Millie. If you watch this video, these are being hoard and appreciated. I don't need the whole banners. I should have put the banner before the this but no it's okay i might have to cut the banner here and i have my little detail scissors from tim holtz and i just gonna snip this here and i'm gonna save these two because i can maybe be able to use them what i'm gonna do is i am gonna distress them a little bit so they will pop up a little more like this and if you want you can back them up with a different color paper so um you can um you know make them uh to see that have something behind but i'm, I'm not gonna do that um i am gonna use um these three dimensionals these are from the dollar tree um I, when I find them, I buy them. They work really great. And then when my scissors, I just going to go ahead and cut these in pieces. These are great to cut because um, they're not, the, the glue doesn't stick. And if they do, occasionally I clean my scissors with um, undo um, or any glue remover that you can find. So, um, I am going to put another piece here because I want this banner to be a little, um, you know, up to the top. 
So I am going to remove this. I know I have a little pointy thing. Let me see if I have it here. Is this is the one? Nope, this is not the one. Um, oh, here it is. I used this Martha Stewart little um, stylus to remove the little annoying little pieces of paper on the back. So I'm going to try to do this video. It might be a little long. So grab your favorite drink. Um, I want to show you um, how do you do this step by step. And I um, try to organize my st myself so we can you can do it and use it as a reference. And like I say, don't remember to go to Debbie's store and check for the supplies. She got new supplies. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that I want this banner to be here. Like that. So there is the manner, and like you notice, I kind of use a little bit of that. I am going to use this, and the reason why I didn't put any anything in there is because I want to use this. Um, the other thing I am going to use is um, some of the... I'm sorry for the minute of silence, but I I thought I was prepared, but it seems like I'm not. Um, this is my box. Uh, I have this cigar box where I have some of my bling and some of this stuff. So I'm looking for something. I'm going to try to use some of these beautiful pearls. They are really pretty. So I'm going to put my box in a place near where I can reach it when I need it. And I am going to glue the doily using my sure bunder. So I want to do make sure that this tag, I want to use the, the medium sized tag. Um, really pretty. And then I'm going to try to put this in a way and remember that hot glue is not as giving as the other regular glues. So if you want to put a little piece of, of tape or use your glue gun to kind of glue this so the banners won't go up, I'm going to do that. Be extremely careful especially if you're dealing with children, not to let them use this kind of uh, glue. Um, they should be under supervision if you let them. I don't let my kids or anything use that. Okay, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to use uh, a really nice flower in there. And I want to add some colors because it's spring. And I think I'm going to use this flower in here. So I am going to cut the stem. And I, I think this color is a little too harsh for me. I have flowers everywhere, you know. Um. No, let me check over here. I have flowers everywhere. I love flowers. Those, I think this one will look better. These colors and this color. Let me see what else I have in here. Oh, I have this little buds. Oh, I have pretty stuff here. Okay, so we're going to use one of these. I think these ones, oh, the lighter one. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my flower from here. 
and I am kind of going to kind of squish. I do this to my flower so that the rose looks a little more open. And then what I do is sometimes I just take a little bit of the ink and I dab them. You can dab them with a darker color. I just want to put a little bit of it. And then I'm going to take my short under hot glue and I am going to put it in here and then put that there. But I don't want that flower to look so lonely there because I like to over embellish, I guess, if you want to call it that way. I would like to put something else on it in there, something that I can use. And I think I made this bow. I'm going to make a little, let me see what I have here. I want to see what I have. Okay. I am going to. Um, I'm sorry if you hear some noise in the background. That's my husband talking to my mother in law. And they are a little bit loud. Um, what I can put there. I have a bag full of trinkets. So I have to. Um, um, excuse me a second. Um, excuse me a second, okay? I apologize that I have to, again, tell you to wait. But he's talking too loud and is disrupting what I'm doing. Um, let me just let him know that he's talking too loud. Okay, I just closed the door so we don't get disturbed. It's amazing the amount of things that I have here just to do this uh, simple project. Um, so we're going to use something else to just um, have this tiny one new. I just think I need a couple more flowers probably in there. I have a blue one and I have, I don't want a bigger one. Oh, but I know what I'm gonna do to make it look. I'm gonna use two smaller ones. I'm going to try to use two smaller ones. Let me fish them out of here. Yes, they are in here. But I have them in another. So I hope you, you guys are, you know, having a good day and that you learn from this. Oh, I found something also. So I think this could be awesome. This is going to be awesome. I found a leaf. This is perfect. I got a leaf and I found a little baby rose that I can just cut. For these ones, I call them fill fillers. I'm going to cut that piece and be careful with these pieces. Don't leave them around because sometimes it can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my pick raspberry 
And I am going to try to just put some so it's not that bright. And it's just half a hint of the color. Okay? So make sure to cover your, your inks so you don't want them. Um, and then since this is too long, I'm going to cut this out there and take the little piece and draw it here. And this ones are wired, so you can kind of twist them the way you want it. So I'm going to play with it and see. Okay. I think I need to cut it a little more. Okay. So I got kind of half an idea how I want it. So I'm going to use glue. And I'm going to put a little bit on the tip. And I am going to put it here. And like I say, be extremely careful because you don't want it there. And then this little bud that is in a blue tone, I'm going to put some of the, with my sharp under, and I'm going to stick it just right there. And I am going to use um, some, um, let's see. If I have a, if I had a, mm -hmm. okay, let's see. I'm trying to find something to add there but I'm not decisive yet of what could be um it can be a word but I don't I don't find any words in here. Oh hold on I have my stickers in here. Oh I have my sticker from the collection that I can put in there traditions. And here. Okay, that is perfect. You see, all you needed to do is look for it. And I am going to pop this in this little piece that I got left here. I'm going to throw this away. I am going to put my the here, use again my little picker here and remove that. And kind of distressed this a little more just to make it a little darker and put the word tradition. Okay, so I have my first tag done. Okay, let's do tag number two. And um, I am going to put my tag in here. Okay, so We'll do tag number two later. Okay, so I am going to use, let's see. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff in here that you guys don't have an idea. Okay, so I might need a bigger, a bigger um, ring. Um, so, I am going to put my tag. So, I am going to show you the next step is going to go in here. So, the second step is going to be how to make the envelope. Okay, so let's remove this embellishments from here and we'll do the second. Um, let's see. Oh, hold on. I am surrounded of stuff. 
Okay, so let's see what can we use that is different. Okay, I think I can use this one. This one will be pretty. Okay. I like to kind of mix, uh, mix some of this. So what you're going to do is... You're going to take your paper trimmer, you're going to trim the edge of the paper, so you're not going to need it. So I am going to, I'm using my old trimmer because my other trimmer, the blade is so dull. Not that this one is any different, but this is much better than the other. Okay, so those of you who has used uh, maybe an envelope puncher, I hope you know how to use them. If not, I will explain the best that I can um, that it's on my. So the, you have to be very important the orientation of the paper. You have a scale here that tells you uh, the, the, the card side, the paper side, and where you're going to score. And this is a one-time score punch. Well, that means that you measure once, and once you measure, you're going to get what is in here. And it also has another piece of paper for bigger papers, but they kind of, I don't know where that is. So um, this is a 6 by 6 so I'm going to look the size of the paper. And the size of the paper, it says to do it on two... Hold on, I'm trying to just get this straight. And that measurement from three. Okay, I have it here. So I'm gonna use um, six by six and I'm gonna use size three because I want a different. Um, so I'm going to measure here, like you see in my punch four, number three. This has a punch. I'm going to punch. And then you're going to use your score tool that comes with the, and you're going to put it as close as possible here, and you are going to score. Then you rotate your paper, and you don't have to measure. You're going to use that line. Because if you use the same measurement, every time you rotate your paper, you are going to get, you're going to be off for a quarter of an inch. And when you end up, you are not, your envelope is not going to match. And I know because that was happening to me. I thought I needed to measure all the time. And for some reason, um, I couldn't get it right until I figure it out. So I am doing this, so this will go into my score line. That little piece over there that maybe you can see because the angle. Let me see if I can do it this way. You see, there's the score line. And here is this little piece, this little piece. You're going to punch. And then you are going to put your... And you are going to score. Oh, I need to move it to score. I can't score on that side. Okay. So you're going to get this here. And that's what I have. Then I'm going to look at my paper. And I'm going to look at the orientation. So I want it to be this way. Because if I put it this way, it would be okay. But if I put it this way, it's going to be upside down. So I either can do it this way or this way. So I'm going to do it this way so it looks like it's the paper is tilted. I want to round here in this side. You have a corner rounder. And you get your paper. And you're going to do the opposite of each paper. 
Okay, so we're done with that. I'm going to put my, score, my envelope. I'm going to pick this little pieces of paper, and I'm going to throw them away. Okay, so now we are going to uh, fold your pieces. I'm sorry. So let's do the sides first. We're going to do this one. And these, I don't care if they are pointy or not, because you are not going to see those. Those you won't be able to see, because they're going to be, you see, covered by this. So I am going to use my hot glue. I'm going to put a dab over there, and I'm going to put this here. And then I am going to put another little dab in here. And then I'm going to put this one there. I like to use the glue because, uh, and then I'm going to kind of do this and make sure I use my foam border to make sure because here's where we're going to put our stuff. So this is the one that is going to be on the top. Okay, so since I'm going to use this envelope, I am going to distress it, and I'm going to try to use um, a blue one. So I have my pinks here. These are my pinks, and I think I have three blue. I'm going to use the peacock feathers. I like peacock feathers. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my dabber. I'm going to put some there. Close it. And then I'm going to distress my envelope. Okay. So, then I'm going to do this. And if you want to do this prior, I just go here and I just go like this and like this to give them a shadow. And that's pretty much what I do. I don't worry about that much of, you know. But if you want to do it before, prior to cutting, that's fine. Okay. The next step, as best good things work goes, the next step is this. We're going to get again our big bite or your puncher or whatever you have. So I'm going to get my big bite. And the big bite has two holes. I'm going to tilt it. It has a little one and a bigger one. Well, one is um, one eighth and the other is three sixteen. So what I'm going to do, I want it in the 316. I'm going to move this piece there. So when I put the envelope, it's very important to know the that all your envelopes are caught. Um, I'm going to do mine this way because I did a couple. So this tutorial don't take that long. I'm just going to do... And I'm going to make a hole there. And there's where the ring is going to go. But I am going to use one of these things that I have here. Let's see what we have. I'm going to use this one. I think it'll look cool. Grommets. They call it grommets. So what you have to be careful when you put this grommet is that you don't do this. I did that. Then you won't be able to open your envelope. So you have to just make sure that you got it. Squash that. To do that, you're going to move, if you have one of these, to all the way to the end. I already had uh, the, this. Uh, this um, you can move this. 
So I already have um, the one that I need. I try to bowl, ah, eyeball it. And then when you're doing this, I kind of grab here. And I push until I hear it click. And there it is. So I don't need this anymore. Now we have our envelope. Now we're going to decorate the envelope. It's an Easter theme. So I want to make it festive. I want it to, you know, do certain things. So I am going to use... This little bunny, um, I don't know if I want to use that bunny. I want to use a more antique bunny. Um, let's see. Maybe use this. This cheek. This little chickadee here. This not it doesn't have to be all the time uh, that looks cute I like that okay let me see what else I have in here that I can use to uh, decorate my my envelopes. I have a heart, but I think this heart is too big. It's not too big, but I don't know if I really want to put a heart. I have all of these that Millie did for me. This one is Leaf. Oh, it has this bicycle. I don't know if I want to do that bicycle. Maybe. Or we can do hello or smile. I don't know. One of the one or the other. Let's see what I decide. Okay. Let's see. Let's um let's check what colors of bike I have. Because I oh she blew this very well. I hate to to ruin the toppers because it's such a beautiful paper. Um, but, you know, what can I do? Oh, I didn't have to remove this topper, but I did already, so I'm going to try to put it back. So I have a little, uh, a few in here. Um, this yellow one looks cute. That could be a possibility. Not of my favorite, unless I use this one and put the little cheek in here like he's going for a light. No, I don't like that idea. Um, let me just do something first before I um, put anything. I mean, look, I want to put a little piece of lace. So I'm going to look at my box. This box I bought from Sierra. Um, hi, Sierra, if you're watching. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, I want to use that one. I want to use that one. I like, I want to do it pink. So I like the pink. Oh, this smells so good. That's such a wonderful smell. I'm going to use this white one. Do I have a tan one? An ivory color. Mm, I don't want to miss this. It's all well packed. And it smells so good. So delicious. Oh my god. I don't know what she uses in there. But whatever it is. Smells very good. Okay. Let me see. All I have is white trim. Um. <clears throat> Let me look at my other bag because I have another bag in here full of trims. And I think I found one. 
I found this this ruffle one. Let's use this ruffle one. So we'll leave these. These are kind of pinkish, so I'm going to leave them here to decorate my other ones. So let's just use this one that is kind of a little ruffle. And make sure, make sure that is the right side. I'm going to use my shore bunder. And I'm going to put some glue in here. And be careful because when you're doing lace, it's extremely hot. Because the lace is um, very, um, what do you call it? Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit there. I don't want to cover that completely. So I'm going to put it there, stretch it. Stretched. And I am going to use my little spatula. You know, it didn't glue. Why is it, did it, did it soft? No, it's not. Why? You know what it is? I am under a vent and we have the AC on because it's so hot in here. It's uh, It was 90 degrees yesterday in Arizona. It was 90 degrees, believe it or not. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cut this. And I'm going to cut the other side. Okay, so I use that trim. I'm going to put the rest in there. Now I need to see what, how I'm going to decorate this. So let's just look in here. And I have these bunnies. They are more kind of like, a little more, uh, this one has a carrot. I'm going to use um, this one in here in the corner. Here. And I am going to see if I have any. Okay. And I found a little sticker that will go great here. It says honey bunny, and we're gonna put a little bit of the pink. A little bit of the pink in there. And we have to keep in mind that we're gonna put things in here. So what we're gonna do is I need um, something else. Like, for example, let's see what I have here. I'm going to look in here in my box of goodies and see what I have that it will be nice to have there. Okay, I found something here. Okay, I found some one in here. Oh, well done. I know what I what I have to do. Um, there's these ones, these little ones, and I think I'm gonna put this little bunny in here. I'm just gonna cut this here. And I am going to cut this. These are a cut of parts that comes in. I got the 12 by 12, but the 12 by 12, if you want to see the envelope that I did, I did another type of envelope 
all such good goodies. Um, you can go and see my other videos for that. Okay, again, I'm going to use this time the blue. Kind of keep it balanced since I used the blue for that. I'm going to use the blue. And I'm going to put one of these. Um, I think I'm going to put two because it's a little big. So, yeah, there we go. Let me put my little. So, I'm going to put this cheek out of here because um, I'm not going to use it. So, these were options. But I didn't use any of these options, so I'm going to move it where they go so I don't have a mess on my desk. So I am going to remove a little piece of paper. Oh, that was easy. And I am going to put this over here or maybe like this there we go perfect okay so now it's time to what did i hear right did i hear right use my little bow maker what else do I need with my bow maker rings um let me see where my ribbons are that I told you you were going to need ribbons so I'm going to use um I'm going to make a bow I like and I'm using mostly sim binding for these because it's a very flexible and I use about six inches to make my bows and that is perfectly fine for the size of bow that I want I guard this with my life because I love 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 if you want to make them look really distressed or something you just go like this Make like you're making a little meatball and they will get all like wrinkly. And then I'm going to make a bow and you can move these stickers. I have this bow maker for such a long, 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 long time that I, um, to be honest, I don't even remember where I bought it. But I look it up and I found it on eBay. It's about $5.00. They have, I used to have a bow dara, but you know what? I don't make bows that big for my projects. So I decide not to, um, to keep this one. It's portable and I'm trying to make this as my hands are, if my hands are so clumsy. But do you know what? This is the best work for me. Trust me. I need to pull both. Make sure you pull both. Sometimes I, for some reason, I don't get the other one. So I hope I got both. I don't think so. So I am going, I think I cut it too short. So I will have to make a smaller bow because I'm not going to waste this seam binding. So all I have to do is move this little sticks, make a smaller bow. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be cute. It doesn't matter how big it is because with this, you make the cutest bows.
I did a live today about this, making some of this and showing some stuff. But, you know, um, I really, um, wasn't, you know, for some reason I didn't, I didn't, didn't feel, I am going to leave that one up, but I want you to see the thing put together. Okay. I have to struggle here a little bit, but I got it. So you see, I have my little tiny bow there and I pull the tails as hard as I can. And then all I have to do is get this out of here. I will put my bow maker here. And I have a little small bow. You're going to take the two, the two little bunny ears and you're going to pull your like this. So that way you got, um, I like to have a double sided bow. Let me just do this out of camera because my hands are so clumsy. I really want to get them out. So I hope you guys are, are going to enjoy and make these in your groups or personal swaps. Um, I think it's a very nice swap that we can do. There is a tutorial about it. I can get the other one to get out of there. For some reason, it's quite tight. And they got stuck together. But I guess, let me see. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. Okay, I got it out. Okay. I got it out. Then the other side, we'll see. other side I need to I'm wasting so much time in this bow I should move on but I am stubborn when something got into my head I wanna okay it's just it is so tiny and it doesn't want to get, I'm trying to get just the cream color. I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes, I did. I did got it. So there is the, the bowl, a bowl. And here are the legs. I like them free like that and long. And you can separate them. So this little bow is going to go here, and we're going to glue it. Um, with the hot glue. So I like to put bows and all my stuff. And this is the perfect color. And then um, we're going to put some flowers. And I'm going to use... One of these roses, one of these. And one of these buds. Okay, so I'm gonna use this three flowers. This one has kind of the tan color of the paper. And when I you get these flowers, I just pull them like this. This one is pretty nice and warm. Some are, there. these are paper flower, and this is a little bud, just a filler. And what I do is I take them, the three of them, and I twist them like this. 
create like a little stem because they're easier to manage. And then I just cut it when my, actually I usually do it this way so I can get rid of this. I will put my flowers back and then my scissors back. So you want to have this little piece of stem that you are going to, you're going to rearrange your flowers now the way you want them. And I wanted that bud like there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue in here. And I'm going to stick this underneath the bow. And I already have one. We are going to decorate this with uh, some buttons. And I, I have my buttons in here. So I have this one. I have the teal one. I'm going to use a teal button from this. Um, let's see which one. You get all sizes in this thing. I think I like this one. Okay, I'll, I'll use this one. And I'm going to put little Velcros. And these are some buttons of my stash that I have for many, oh, many years. I'm going to leave them out because I might be using more buttons. But this is from 28 Lilac Lane. And this is the button. So you can find it in Button Galore's. Um, So what colors are these? Um, it does a sparkling finish for you. Um, it doesn't say the colors, so I don't know. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue in here. And put my button there. So I'm going to put the be Velcro later. So, okay, I have, let me see, I made some previously, so I have to count and see how many I have. So I have the tag, I have one, two, three. So I have three that I made. I have this one that I made. And I need a button for this one. And I will like for this one a pink button. And I have buttons here too. So uh, this is from the same company. I will like a bigger button for this one. So I am going to use this one. Let me see this one. This one just looks really cute. I'm going to use this one. And use that one. Close this. I don't want to mess up this. You don't want that. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's see, here on my stash. I don't know how long has this been going on, but I hope it's not too long. Um... Let me take a sip of my of my tea because I'm thirsty. Um, I just had them here. What did I do with them? I was looking for some flat my pearls. Um, but I can't find them now. I can't find them now. I'm going to put a black, a flat back pearl when I find it. 
in there. Because I don't know where they are right now. And I don't want to keep. So, I am going to take... Apologize for the disruption. I'm going to use one of these six count. These are two inches. I want to put a big, because I wanted her to have enough. So I'm going to use one of these bigs. Um, big rings. But before that, before that, I am going to use, and let me look here, some of this Chinese brace that I, Chinese brace, I'm sorry to glue it here and then go around it. I'm going to cover the ring. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Be careful because it's hot and you're going to get some strings of some spider webs, like we call it. And you can get rid of those really easy with a, uh, with, uh, so you wanna leave a, some kind of space here. So I am gonna start kind of like going around this, this thing. This D ring or ring or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go around it. I hope you see what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping it around because I don't want to use this. Um, and you don't want to use anything too bulky. So when I got here, I'm going to put glue over here. I chihuahua. And you're going to pull there and hold it there until the, it dries. When it dries, I'm going to snip that. Okay, so I got that done. And you see, you have your, I think I'm going to put a little bit more glue here to glue this little piece here. And I hope that it goes through there, you know? You know what? Uh, it's not going to work. I will have to then use another one. And use washi tape. I'm going to use this washi tape. It's very pretty. Unless I have something more vibrant. I think this one will be nice. Let me see. I'm going to use this pink one. Let's see if this works. Because I can put anything too, um, what you call it, too bulky because it won't go through the holes. And I don't want to leave my, my, what you call it, my ring without, you know, covering. Oh, 
I'm going to cut a piece here and I'm going to start going like this. Oh, I don't want, I, you can antique this or paint it. I just want to do it as simple as possible for you. But if you have the time and you want to make it more antique, you could. All I want to do is cover a little bit of that silver and this seems to work. Just twist that paper and now it will go through. It will, it will go through, but it's it will go through. It will go. So I'm going to do the other side. You want to leave this area without any. So you take another piece. I don't know what brand this is. I know it was here on my desk. And it matches. So um, you will want to just leave a little bit. So when it closed, it doesn't, you know, interfere closing. And you just fold it, and then you're going to go wrap it around. And you go wrap, wrap, wrap around. And I think I have too much of this. I caught too much of this one. And it doesn't matter that it looks like that. Um, I think I can. I just don't want to put it. I'm going to take off a little bit because I don't want it too thick. Because then it won't go through. And then you just squeeze it. And there you got your ring. Your ring. So I'm not going to use this. So I found, I think, a pearl. It's not big. Like I want it to, but the lot that looks kind of cute. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put that in there. The colors are perfect. So let's move this trim over here. So what we made first. You're going to put the tag where's the tag okay you're going to put um the tag i'm going to put this first I don't want to go through. Why not? Okay. So no, I'm putting it backwards. Put the grommets in there. So she's going to have a hard time. So I'm going to use the one until I figure it out. Plain one. Until I figure it out. Because I'm not going to spend more time in this. You know? I think the grommets that I use are a little, this are a little too thick for it. But I think if I use like this, that is going to work perfect. So I am going to start putting them in here because I have three already done. Three of them done. And you see how perfect they are. And then I have my tag. My tag in here. So I'm going to close that. I still have three more uh, envelopes to do. 
So let's go to our next envelope. This one will be easy because it's already made. I don't have to make it. Actually, what goes next is not the envelope, it's the tag, um, the second tag. Um, but I'm, where is the second tag? Okay, well, I don't know where the second tag is, so I'm going to need to find another one. This is the big tag. I did the medium. And you know what? I'm going to do in the middle this little envelope. this little envelope in the middle so I can write my letter and put it in there. How that sounds, like a good idea or a bad idea? I think it sounds like a good idea to me. So what we'll do, we have to do the whole. So I need to get again, this is the last tag. We're gonna use again our Pull it back and it has to go like this. Actually, this one I want it to go in the middle. Okay, so there I want it there. Oh, I need to put a little um, of these thingies. Mm. And that is it for that one. Um, let's see. Where you use that one? We're going to remember, you don't want to do the lid or the so what we're gonna do is move this back again because this here I of eyeball it I kind of go down a little bit to see the pointy the pointy thing where it is I think it's there Yes, perfect. Okay. It kind of got bent a little bit. I don't like that. I am picky. We're going to use this one. We're going to do that again. We're going to do that again. Going to kind of eyeball this. Move it. You know, if I'm going to do something, I'd rather do it good. I don't want to take too much of your time. But I want to do it right. I need another eyelet. I remember the name this time. I'm gonna use this blue one. And I think I need to just, let me check the tip. Oh, I know what's wrong. I have the wrong tip. This is the tip I need. I need. Okay, that's why. I don't know for why reason mine is a little wonky. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, 
had a, a, a cramp. I had a cramp. I get those usually in my hands when I use them too much. But I'd be fine. Just give me one minute. Okay, that's better. We are going to put a sticker in here. And we're going to use one of these stickers. Um, oh. Let's see which one I want to use. Um, I'm gonna use this one because it looks like a like a like an like it's an envelope and it's gonna go there. Then I'm gonna use um, a very tiny washi. This tiny washi. I don't know if you use that one or use this whole one. Um, I think I'm going to use this copper one. And I get those cramps. It's just uh, the show must go on. I'm not going to let this stop me because I want to do this. I want to craft, I want to do this, and we're going to. This is very thin, and I'm going to leave a little lip of it there. So I am going to... Just cut it with the scissors. It doesn't want to go away. My cramp. one time and we need to put a, something else I would love to put something else um, we got this but I don't think we got it completely I think I have to do it again oh god if I can do it again Mm -hmm. I 
get this cramps sometimes. this work because if not if I screw this I just it has to be that way okay has to be that way can't do any better so let me just fix this and bend this here and then I left a little hole in there, like, to put on um, something. I need, like, something else. I don't know what. No. Maybe a, another sticker. Oh, I know what I'm going to put there. I'm going to put this. This, 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 this. I know what I'm going to put there. I'm sorry. I had it all planned, but it didn't work quite the way I wanted it because this here is a big, 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 big mess okay so I have it I did the best ah oh, it's gone just that I'm tired I'm gonna put this here Careful that you don't get. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of hook on in here just to make sure. So there we go. That's going to be the letter one. That's going to go with the letter. We'll go through here. Okay. So we're going to do so. This will go in the ring. It's not in the same order as it should go. Because it should go in the other side. Let me just put it on the other side. Okay, we're going to put it in here. There we go. Here, our flip book is working. So let's do another one and start moving stuff out of the way. This place is a mess. Okay, so this one, I like it because it's kind of a top, uh, kind of a weed basket. So I am going to use my glue again. I already scored it like you saw the first time. I recommend you to score them, all of them at the same time. So you don't have to, um, you know, just do them all and get them out of the way. The many, I don't know how many you plan to do. Um, I always go with this to make sure. There is no on this one. This one is going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. Okay. This one, um, I'm going to use this fence. Um, I'm going to need, um, I want to use the blue and pink colors. So I'm going to use this to kind of stain the fence 
This is a wood veneer that it has that is like a fence, but I wanted to do it like half uh, blue and half pink. Now I'm going to do the other middle and the one in the middle. It's like it's just going to stay that color. So it looks like kind of like an ombre kind of thing, but it's not ombre because it's not the same color. But that's what I had planned for that. And this is going to go over here. But before that goes over there, it's going to go with um, mounting tape. Um, we are going to uh, put some flowers and some bunnies. We're going to put... Um, a really nice bunny in there and I think I'm going to use this one so I'm going to use this one um, let me see um, this has purple this is blue and pink I'm going to use this one because it has the blue bow okay so i'm gonna put this one this bunny over here or maybe not i'm gonna then take the the tape this and i will have to cut these into pieces small enough to put it in between I have such a mess in here that I'm just getting the inches so and I'm trying to keep my boys low because when I get inches you see where one you can do the three places so these are awesome they're hard to find not every um, store but if not use score tape score tape it's also a good one I have score tape I use those mostly for my book I'm gonna be making a mini book called singing in the rain using the papers from um, it's gonna be one of my other projects because I have she sent me three collections and um, I wanted to do, leave the last one for the summer because it's a summer one. So, and maybe, um, so we're going to remove these little pieces of paper. So I'm removing the papers. And this is taking longer than what I thought. So this is going to go over here like that. Okay, so um, now we're going to use these flowers because I think they go perfect with this. I love this flower. I'm not going to use the big flower, but I'm going to use the ones that are and um, they are like in bundles of three and they kind of like coming over the fence. You see that? Okay. I need to remove all this junk off here so you can see what I'm working on. If not, you're not going to see. So I want to put that there. But I also wanted to put in there. Um, what can I put in there? It's a lovely day, but I am going to use the pink to kind of 
Go like this. And I am going to put this here. And then this Mr. Bunny is going to go here. Okay. So, um, I am going to put a little button in here because I want to. And we have our fourth one done. Okay? So we have our fourth one done. Let's just then start. Um, I still have fourth, fifth. Okay, we have one more to do. And we'll do it and we have the last tag. And we'll be all done. So we're gonna try to do this as quick as possible. Okay, and since this one, I didn't put uh, this in here, I have to put it I am going to just put it back here. And I think I'm going to put this back here. So, it's looking good. Okay, so we're going to do this one. And this one is uh, going to put a little I'm using. This is the reverse of that. Um, beautiful one that looks like a basket and I'm going to put a little bit on here and there goes quick just check so this is going to be a very pretty one I'm going to put this this was from my friend Sierra I bought it from her and she has wonderful laces sales. So go and check her channel, Sierra. Um, she was um, in my show uh, this morning. So I'm going to put it in here in the corner because I like things like dangling. I just want to make sure I have it the right. Okay, this is the way it goes. So I'm going to use my famous glue shore bunder and I am going to put this in here and for that I am going to use this little that my beautiful friend Cindy B sent me so I don't burn my fingers and I really appreciate that so you're gonna have like a dangling I want it like that um, I already make the hole we have to look look for a grommet for this one and I think I have one that is perfect for it we'll see if it works um, I need to pick up. I hope I don't get the ramp again. Okay, so let's see if I can get this to work. Let's see if this will work. There. Okay, this one did the job. Thank you for being. 
Okay. Okay, so I have that there, and I know it's not all the way down there, but that's fine. I am going to use this beautiful, 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 beautiful um, sticker, I think, for this last envelope. I distressed it. I am going to put um, some of the mounting tape because I want this raised. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut it in half. So I can put one in here because I want the whole thing raised up. Okay, so let's take the paper off. But before that, I'm going to go to my blingy box. And I hope I find the color I'm looking for. Yes, I did. I'm going to cut some of this. And I am going to use again my brand short under. Um, I got this in Amazon. And it's, uh, I like it a lot. I like it, but it's just really, 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 really hot. But I like it because it has a fine tip. And like I told you with this, when you use hot glue, this, you don't have the same amount of time that you have to wiggle with wet glue. So you have to make sure where you are putting what you want because you won't be able to move it. Once it's glue, it is glued. So I glued this and I know these three ones are I don't throw these little things away because sometimes you need one. And then um I'm going to use this doily, this white doily. And I am going to put it in here. I'm going to put it in the center first. There it goes. Okay. And now I'm going to kind of take the, the tips, kind of glue them down. Some of them, so it's not floppy. And you can do this with birthdays. You can put a person who drink for coffee by a Starbucks card and put it in one of them. Put some tea. Um, put little, you know, different things related with coffee. This is a very cute idea. I loved it. i having so much fun making this. And I think it's an excellent idea. Never heard of it. Like I say, I'm not taking the credit for it. But um, I don't know where uh, Beth, the person who is in Beth, um, when I found I forgave me. Um, but I don't remember. <laughs> There's so many people, um, but she's such a wonderful lady, sweet ladies in there. I'm new to the group. I haven't checked her. I've been so busy to see if they have other swap because I am swamp with my own swaps. So I'm going to put that there and then you know what comes next it's gonna be um 
some flowers. So I'm going to put away this because after this, I'm done with... Um, so I am going to put, um, I don't need this. I'm going to take it out of here. Um, I want a word for it. Let me see if I have something here that is delicate enough. And I think I'm going to do a tiny little bow that I have. And I'm going to take three of these little buds to put it there because they are so adorable. They are so adorable. And I'm going to use this ribbon that I have that it looks like cherry blossom. I'm going to cut this. I make this, well, I'm sorry. I cut this um, with make this bow with my little bow maker and then I'm tight iron oh okay you know what I'm gonna do oh this got out of here how do you do well let me see what I can do okay I am going to just cut this, throw this away. This didn't work as Justin I needed. Um, this is the bow. Wanted to do a different bow just to break the. Ouch, they're hot. They're very hot. Then where went the one that I just cut? Um, I just going to put some here. And put it in here. And that's my last one. And then for the back, uh, I wanted it to just distress it, and I forgot. But I'll do a little bit in here, a little bit here, a little bit here, and then on the here. Okay, so this is um, the last um, envelope. I wanted to put a pink bow, a uh, pink. Um, I think this one looks really cute. This is that glitter. I'm gonna put a button here just to and then I will put the bell curls because I have them but I don't have them handy. I'm gonna pick up these other ones I didn't use and put them back in the bottle. And then I am going to kind of clean really quick this mess so you guys can look at what I've done. Um, that will go there. Let's just put all these flowers in here and the buckle and the buckle and the little jar that I have. Um, this little piece of trim goes here. Um, I am going to trim this little piece over here, okay? Because I think it was it was bugging me there. I'm gonna put all my things back where they belong. And 
And this is done. Now all I have to do, oh, I have to do the tag, the last tag. Okay, it's not wanted to get in through here. I think I have to force it to go through there. Come on, don't do this to me. Why? I don't know, because it's wide enough. Okay. Okay. It went through. Thank you, Lord. You can use a little wax if you want to put. I have one more tag. We're going to do it really quick. I don't know how long we've been doing this. I'm going to do the last tag. And for that, we are going to use, um, let's see, um, what kind of paper do I have that I can use for that, a piece of paper? Uh, I'm going to use that. Um, I am going to use a piece of this chip of uh, this. I'm not going to use that. And I'm not going to use this. Put that over there. I'm going to use a piece of this. Um, this is um, basil texture. I hope it's big enough. If not, I will have to cut it like this. Okay, so yeah, it's big enough. So. I would like this tag to have, again, we're going to use the glossy side because we want uh, to be able to write in the back or put a message or stickers or whatever. Just make sure you don't cover the holes. Make sure you get every corner. So that's what I'm done. So now I am going to just put it here. And then use my bone folder, burnish it. So all that tape, score tape is good for this. If you want to do these tags, especially in that kind of surface. So now that you do this, I am going to go ahead and cut my tag. And, um, Just don't worry because you're going to just stress the edges. So I use a piece of this basil. It's a very old piece of basil. It's kind of hard to find. I don't know if they're still making them. I know I love basil. I have a, still have a lot. You are going to use your punch thing. You can make the hole. There you go. Oh, I don't know if I want to put a grommet or not. I'm not sure.
I will have to kind of now distress it. This is a long video, but I want you to see what you can do. Hey, I don't need this. I'm starting to put things on back. I am going to do this in the pink color. And I didn't even have to. I still have enough in the dapper to just um, kind of, you know. Um, you also can use, and I'm going to use this stencil that she has in the store. This is Creative Embellishment Stencil, and I am going to use this. And here, I'm going to need the dark. I want to put the dark. I don't know if I want to do that or the blue. I think I'm going to do the blue. I'm going to do the blue. So I want to do kind of a swirl in here. So I'm going to go like this. You have to hold that really, 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 really tight. So it will move. And I have that wonderful texture there. You're not going to see much. You're going to cut a smidge off here. Just a tiny little bit. Just a tiny little bit. And then you do the other side. I wanted to finish this. I don't want to leave it. You know, and forget, don't forget, Debbie Store. She has all these papers that you can make. If you want to make it exactly like I did, you can find the Alton Tape Jubilee collection in there. And this one I'm going to do in... Um, I think I'm going to do the blue so it will match with the back since I did the uh, so there is some I wanted to put a message in the back and this is one of the tags from the big collection the 12 by 12 you can barely see the sparkles after I did them Maybe I should have done it on the, um, that's okay. So I am going to put some tape in here. I'm using my ATG. I did that, but I, it's going to be covered. So you can kind of put this a little bit here. There we go. And then I want to, um, I don't know, do something, something out of the ordinary. <laughs> Not something out of the ordinary, but I want to put, use a little bit of this trim that is very pretty and put it here because it's kind of flowery and I am going to cut it in here and put it in the top and the bottom. So I'm going to put some glue in there. And this one is kind of twisty so you have to be careful that make sure that you have it the right way. Remember that hot glue is not forgiving, so it's not going to 
let you if you just it kind of twist I love this trim I think I bought it in a D stashed and I have this bunch I'm gonna cut it here okay and then I have to clean this room that you don't have an idea. And cut a little more so I can trim it because it's kind of tricky, but it looks so pretty. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. I think that will be perfect. Um, before that, I'm going to put this in there. And I have another, some more of these flowers somewhere. I want to wanna put some of these. Um, I have to take again my crumble dial or my big, big bite. Oops. I was going to use this green one, but I start try to stay between the pink and the blue. Okay, so let's just use this one. See if this one will work. Okay. I hope it worked. No, oh, it needs a little more. It needs a little more. needs the bigger one, longer one. Let's see. This one will do it. This is the tricky part. I That's why I don't like to use eyelets. But you have to reinforce those tags because if they're going to be on a... Let's see. Oh, this works great. So that works great. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um... Let's just uh, move this out of the way. And then um, what I was going to need, um, what I'm looking for is my, um, I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. Mm. My scissors, but I don't see scissors in here. So I might have to use this old scissors. It's like, I don't know where my Tim Holtz went. So, I hope this one cut. Okay. No, and not going to cut. Okay. Oh, but I have my little tiny ones. These ones will cut. I can't find the big ones. So all these are trash. This is the last tag uh, that we have. And um, I wanted to do one more thing. And that was to a bunny. Put a bunny. Just here. Just there. And I will need one more sticker. And I hope I can find something that can match that. Um, 
Um, let's see. I'm trying to find something. I can use this one. I guessed. And I can't use again my... Because I wanted to put something here. I can't find those other flowers. So I am going to get this. Oh, I found them. I found the other flowers. The other two flowers. Um, that will go here. So we have three flowers. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay, so that now we're going to put the last tag in. I wanted, like I told you, I wanted to, I might distress this, paint this, so I can get, get that silver. Doesn't look, you know, um, let me see if it will let it in. It's just getting it through there. Okay, so what do we have now is this. Our last challenge. My last challenge. And this is, I think I'm going to have to be cleaning in here for 20 years or more. I'm going to use this. Um, this is Celebrated Tool. And the color is Timeless. I don't know. It's Timeless. So I'm going to get some of this. I'm going to cut it. I don't know where my, my scissors are, but I hope these ones work. Okay. Oh, here they are. They're here. Thank God. And And again, I apologize. This is taking for so so long to do, but I wanted to do a really nice tutorial for you. You know, I can't find. Oh yeah, I found my other seam binding. Okay, so. What we're going to do is, I have my seam binding, we have the tool, we're going to fold it in half, I'm going to use this. No, this is too small. And like I said, I am going to kind of crinkle a little bit my seam binding. And it's going to be part of this bow.
I'm fighting here. The booming. But I'm not gonna let that defeat me. No, sorry. Come on. Get through there. You get through there because I need you there. There we go. And now I need this one's to go through there too. This one's won't be a problem. Oh, I know that's been long. It's been a long tutorial. So I appreciate who watches this tutorial till the end because I really, really put a lot of effort for you to see step by step what a flip envelope is like always you know getting the ribbons to separate it's not easy so i'm getting this Okay, I got it. It's just, I'm making one of these like, gigantic bowls where there's a lot of colors and a lot of mixtures and a lot of things going on. So, it's going to look a little crazy, but going to be worth it. I need to get this other ground. I didn't want to do this live because I didn't want to get distracted. I decided to do it like this. Uh, if you're really interested to learn how to watch how to do this, um, you know, take your time, watch the video, it's not difficult, it's just, um, I wanted to make a little thing there, um, and then, before, it, when, before you close it, you are going to get it through there. You do your best to get it through there, like I did. Okay, I put it on the wrong side. Sorry, this should be this side. It should be easier now, right? And now we close the book. Okay, so let's clean this out of here. Move. And here we have our flip book, our flip envelope. You make a tag. I make a bow here that the bow move. Here is the first tag. And then in the back, you can journal. This is one of the envelopes. And then it got goodies inside and I'm gonna have Velcro. So you keep going like this. This is the second one. And it has a button in the back. Here's the third one, it says play, and then I'm going to put a button here. This is the one that we did. I think this is so cute. This is my favorite. Then you have the envelope where you're going to put your letter. Then there is this one. 
and then in the back, and then you've got the last tag. So here you have your flip, your flipped envelope. done. I want to put it in a way where you can see them done. So thank you very much for being with me this long. I really appreciate it. Please go check the store of Debbie, a special touch, which I am, this is one of my design projects for her. So please go and look at there. And also, um, please um, use my code to get a 15% extra of your total purchase and the coupon where it says discount or coupon here, and it's 15, the number 15, and then percent, and then capital letters off, and you will get a 15% off. And don't forget to tell that you got you uh, saw it in my channel so she knows that you learned this from the tutorial. I'm going to try to like this paper if you're still interested. I know it's uh, a, a Easter one, but you know what? If you're very interested in it and you want to do it, it doesn't matter. You can use the pattern papers and use different things. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching. Bye. Adios.